Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, lastly, we continue with miscellaneous image transformations and we talked about threshold functions. Today we are going to talk about adaptive threshold, which is advanced version of threshold, we can say. And I will tell everything about these functions det detaily and we will see the results together also. What this function takes as input, uh, we are giving a source mat which is 8-bit single channel image uh, in the difference between threshold it does not take three channel we only take one channel which is grayscale and here destination which we are giving this is max value same like threshold function and adaptive method different than that and here we see some adaptive threshold types which is adaptive trash mean and adaptive trash Gaussian. Uh, these are just uh, applying some uh, functions, some equations to the kernel which we are specifying. For example, let's say 3 times 3 block size also here we will talk. Let's say if you define this block size 3 times 3, then it applies trash mean to that kernel, each kernel uh, accordingly, or Gaussian function, which one you specifying, it applying that kernel according to, uh, according to the uh, this type you're giving okay then also threshold type we know from the threshold function and block size we said this is just kernel size we are giving 3 5 7 continue like that and this one better we talk in code part because more easy to understand in that part and one more also here i want to talk border replicate and border isolated what they are meaning in my previous video videos mostly I skip this part because I said not really important also I'm planning to make a separated video for these border types but uh, specific to this video I need to talk about border replicate because this is important also adaptive threshold uses this uh, uses this border type that's why we need to talk about okay let's continue with the code part in my previous video I simply created a sample uh, met to see the results this is 3 times 3 and we uh, compared the input and output results and here I just called adaptive threshold and I'm giving sample mat which we created and destination which we want to see the results and this is the max value which uh, same with threshold function we are just filling the output pixels accordingly with this value not really important for now and uh, adaptive trash mean uh, we talk i'm starting with trash mean then we can see also trash gaussian what it does trash binary we already learned three means block size which is also kernel size three times three let's say i started with and zero we will talk about this later okay let's see the results uh, this is output this is input uh, if you, we remember from the threshold function, threshold function just taking a limit value, let's say 100, and all of the pixels in the image bigger than 100, making it according to max value, for example 111. But in adaptive trash, it's totally different. What it does, uh, it is not directly taking a limit value, but it calculates the limit value by itself. That's why that's the only difference between threshold. So how it, how this function does that? For example, we gave three t three kernel, right? Okay, let's talk about input first of all. You gave block size as three. What uh, what it means? Let's talk about twelve in the middle of the center, and uh, for this pixel, it needs to calculate adaptive threshold, which is zero in here. The result. How it calculates? Just taking average of all of the three times three kernel around, including this. Then if this is bigger than that or smaller than that, it decides according. But what about the corners? What about the borders? In here, there is no, for example, in here there is no pixel also in up on the left side and the upside. There are no pixel values. So what we should do in this situation? In these things, in this kind of things, uh, OpenCV created border types and filling those pixels according to this. There are some explanation here according to pixels, but uh, it's not really meaningful. So I will show directly here. I copied this before I created and I copied it, copied this image to show you. And let's see how it's feeling. First of all, uh, this is our image which we see as input here. So if you choose the border replicate, 
actually in this function we are not choosing that adaptive threshold choice it already as uh, as a parameter so we are not able to change it so they choose a border replicate for example if this is 122 then it's filling around 122 but if this one 216 let's say it's just filling this part also 216 as you can see the border is borders are border pixels are filled according to border replicate type in here also just give the beginning pixel to the before and ending pixel to the uh, after the after the image is done and you see the result here okay so to apply this adaptive threshold to these pixels uh, you need to take this kernel as input this 3 times 3 kernel okay so our input actually this one we can see not the previous one because there are some virtual pixels here which OpenCV created and we will use now this image to calculate the output okay let's calculate and see the results for 122 for example let's calculate all of the pixel uh, summation I'm just calculating okay and divided by 9 this is the mean value 121 as you can see which is bigger than uh, which is bigger than 122 that's why it becoming 111 uh, here okay we can see since this is bigger than the mean value we can we are applying the max value to this pixel anymore let's calculate for this one also in the middle one let's calculate the summation for each pixel divided by 9 okay since this is smaller than the 12 is smaller than this value we are giving to we are assigning the pixel as 0 uh, this is simply like that uh, to change for example uh, in here since this is very limited 121 this value uh, in here uh, to change it maybe we can change some pixels let's say uh, if we make this 100 for example okay it's bigger than 122 let's change it this is make 100 so in output you don't see anymore here 111 because it is smaller than 131 so it's not assigning this value anymore it's assigning 0 to this pixel okay guys in also let's see guys in result uh, it's basically similar result but uh, of course it's different than a uh, mean function it's applying just Gaussian function to kernel since Gaussian function little complicated I'm not doing that in here but it's just uh, the difference between the mean mean type it's just applying Gaussian function to the kernel okay we learned this we learned this let's continue trash binary we already know if you just make inverse it's just uh, changing let's see the result actually it's just changing the pixel to reverse before these were these were 111 now the others 111 okay 3 is just kernel size if you make make it 5 it will uh, include the 5 times 5 kernels anymore uh, and continue goes like that and this value what this means first of all let's back to normal beginning this one was 11 12 before okay and let's get at this okay let's see the first results then continue before as you if you remember uh, I changed the wrong one actually this one I need to change okay sorry okay the first results was like this and if you remember the average was 121 very, sim uh, very close to 122 
but uh, since this is uh, this since this is bigger than 121 which is this results it's uh, actually I'm changing wrong place maybe okay now back to normal sorry since this is bigger than 121 which is average uh, it's assigning 111 to that pixel but if you subtract uh, for example you found the mean this right and if you write here for example minus 2 then it's becoming anymore not 121 but uh, minus this one which is subtracting don't forget it's just subtractions uh, if you write here uh, 5 the result will not change because we are uh, just decreasing the mean value so it's still bigger than the mean value but if you apply it minus which is now 121 is uh, change this is average but subtracted minus 5 make it 126 which is bigger than this one so it is not anymore assigning here 111 yes I think I'm clear to explain this I hope you understood okay this is simply like that let's see our Apple result from our previous uh, example let's see the result of Apple Yeah, for example, that in these parameters we are getting that kind of result. But where we use it? Okay, we we understood the math in background, but this function actually does. But where we use it? I will show you some couple of examples. This is from Gary Braski book, and you see this is the input image, and this is threshold output. This is adaptive threshold output according to which parameter he gives and what you see here clearly this part of image is not seen in with the threshold output but in here you see the all of the uh, all of the squares in chessboard clearly you can see here so but threshold just take care of all of the image according to one limit value uh, it does not care some regions it you can get some output which you are not expecting like this but in adaptive threshold uh, since it's, uh, it's care, it cares about uh, which kernel you are giving some regions based you are giving so it cares about the uh, neighbor pixels and it gives you the results accordingly let me show you also a different example here some guy did it uh, this is the original image uh, with threshold functions the shadow part totally black you can see but with adaptive mean and adaptive Gaussian you are getting more better results uh, this kind of experiments you can maybe use this adaptive guys adaptive threshold function and also I can say that mostly this function is used in in the uh, dark images to make it more clear uh, you also see this mostly there are shadows in the images uh, yeah in this type of situations maybe you you may need this function to use okay maybe this video a little longer I'm sorry for that but I try to explain this function very clearly in the next video we continue see you bye bye